games pride themselves on great storytelling. Others aim for flawless graphics. And then there are games that just want you to beat someone with the flat side of a shovel blade. Kane and Lynch Dead Men wants to be all three. Kane's a simple death row inmate, minding his own business on the way to his execution when his van overturns and he's pitched into a heated gunfight with police. Forced to face his old gang, which he left for dead after a botched job. You betrayed us, Kane. Kane is given three weeks to recover the loot for his former partners, or his family pays the consequences. It's only fair. Kane is forced to take a partner watchdog. Name's Lynch. I think this is the beginning of a beautiful friendship. <laughs> Yep, there's not much you do in Kane and Lynch without Lynch. It's all about teamwork. You can even revive each other if you take one bullet too many. But as the game progresses, you learn more about Lynch. What the f is going on? Like how he may not be the sanest death row inmate come gunslinger you've ever worked with. Jesus f Christ! He killed the hostage! What the f is that? The teamwork really shines in co-op mode, where you can play split screen with a real life partner in crime even though you can't stop Lynch from taking a trip to Crazy Town every once in a while. You want some? I'll give you some. We also enjoy the online multiplayer, where you team up with other gamers to pull off or prevent a heist. Playing as cops or robbers, you try to stop the other team from making off with the loot. But at the end of each round, you can decide to betray your team and take it all for yourself. You're stealing your own just don't expect them to trust you next time. It's not like we didn't have any complaints. Kane and Lynch features a brutal trial and error gameplay, which there's just no getting around. At certain points, it's more like trial and error and error and error and error and error as you find which path to take or sequence of cops to kill. Stop bitching. Hey, we're all for exploratory gameplay, but you really have to play it to feel the frustration that comes from repeating the same scene over and over again, trying to figure out what the hell they want you to do. The camera work is pretty solid, but naturally goes all nutty at crucial times, like, say, when you're getting shot at. It can be really tough to see in split screen, the only real damper to the co-op mode we love. Filled with over-the-top violence and dirtier dialogue than two sailors on shore leave in Saigon, Kane and Lynch delivers the action, but at the cost of frustrating mechanics. Kane and Lynch Dead Men gets three FCC bleeps. Uh, yeah, don't By the way, I up. Out of five. Catch an all-new X-Play, weeknights at 8, only on G4.